everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching later, welcome to the replay. My name is Robin and I'm with Robin's Egg Blue Creations. And I'm also an independent designer with Chow Couture. So once you hop on the live tonight, or if you happen to hop on the replay at a later date, go ahead and say hi in the comments and or put in hashtag replay. That just lets me know that you're here and lets me know that I can say hi back to you. Um, I also want to let you know that I'm live in three locations this evening. So if you hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your feed, that viewer may be watching and commenting from a different platform. Also, if you are watching from my private Facebook group, there is a permission link in the description of the video. If you choose to click that link, that just allows StreamYard to pin your profile name and pick to your comment in my feed. Um, you can choose not to click that link. Just know that your comment will show up as Facebook user. Um, I'll still say hi, but I just won't know who to say hi to. Also, if at any time you like the project and you think that others should see it, or if you just want to help out my little channel, go ahead and spread the chalk love around Facebook and YouTube. Hit that like button, the heart button, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, follow, turn on all of your notifications. And as always, tag your crafty friends and invite them to watch along with you. So let's go to my comments over here. I see that Margie is on. Welcome. Jason is watching from the other side of the door. Again, if you wouldn't mind spreading this out, this, that would be fantastic. I greatly appreciate it. And with that, I'm going to flip the camera so that I can show you what we are working on. So I have my dear son and husband brought these scrap pieces home. Um, actually, it was one big long one like this, but I so I cut it in half. And it, I've had my eye on this project for a couple of months. Um, let me go ahead and do it this way too. Um, I've had my eye on this project for a couple of months and I was going to have to buy some wood, but because they brought me home all of this scrap wood, it works perfect. So I am pairing this piece of scrap wood with one of our 5x12 um, boutique oh um, simple shapes. They too come in a two pack. So these are 5x12. You can use them double sided. Um, they're quite a versatile little um, shape. So that, this is the surface that I'll be using. I'll be attaching a little bottle opener over here. And then the transfer that we will be using tonight is, I'm going to try to leave this over here so it doesn't totally turn green, is the Come and Hang Out transfer. So this is a size C transfer. It is $23.99, but you do get four different designs on this one transfer. So it's quite the bang for your buck. Hello, Miss Amanda. So we're going to be using the Welcome to Our Backyard Bar and Grill transfer on our Simple Shapes this evening. And don't mind my son. He's carrying on in the next room, but uh, so we might get a little noisy, but that's okay. So if you are new to Chalk Tour, this is a reusable silk screen adhesive backed transfer. If I can get it exposed. So there is adhesive on the back side. These are reusable about eight to 12 times, depending on how well you take care of them. And because they are reusable and I need to know what side of the carrier sheet they go on, I'm just going to put the word back or the transfer name on the back side, just so that when I am finished cleaning it, and I'm ready to put it away. I know that it goes on this side of the backer sheet um, and not the other side. Uh, they used to used to be able to tell one side was matte side and one side was shiny, but they've um, we have a new manufacturer. And so both sides are slightly shiny and it's really hard to tell. So make sure you write the word back on them. Hello, Miss Bonita. Okie doke. So this is our transfer. You also notice that it has these cut lines. You can cut your transfer in four different pieces, backer sheet and all, but I'm going to score mine apart until I decide where and how I want to um, store them. So I'm just going to pick this piece of transfer up. I'm going to put my scissors underneath 
and I'm literally going to score down that cut line. That way I only have to deal with one piece of backer sheet for now instead of four. Okie doke. So let's bring in one of our simple shape pieces. So you can sand these down. You can repaint them with the chalk paste or acrylic paint or chalk paint. You can sand them completely down and restain them. Or you can leave them as is. But I am going to put a little bit of wax on the surface just because it's slightly rough. It's a wood grain surface. Um, I just want to make sure that my transfer doesn't stick. So I'm also heating up some of my wax. Mine's a little hard. So I'm just using my quick dry tool to kind of soften it up a little bit. And then it will be easier to apply. So you can just use um, a random t-shirt, you know, like a scrap rag, a sock. Um, you can get a microfiber towel from the dollar store or the discount store. Or you can get a fancy double-sided wax applicator like this one. These are available on my chalk site. So I'm just rubbing the chalk paste in. This will help seal up any of those nooks and crannies that my wood might have. It will also be a protective barrier to keep my transfers from sticking so much that it might pull or distort when I um, pull it up. I don't want it to stretch. So I'm just buffing it in, kind of heating it back up again, making a very nice smooth surface. Don't put that away. Okie doke, so let's get out our fuzz cloth. I'm going to use the Welcome to Our Backyard Bar and Grill. And I'm going to fuzz it a few times. So what I'm doing right now is just knocking back oops, a little bit of the adhesive on the back side. So basically I'm just putting down a small layer of lint going to help keep my transfer from sticking so much that it stretches. You can just use any terry cloth towel. Got a hair. That was one of mine. I can't blame that one on Luna anymore. My hair's getting longer, so I can't blame it on Luna anymore. I see a long one. It's probably mine. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this down. I'm going to kind of center it from top to bottom. And it fits almost perfectly side to side. It's a little uneven. Let's do it this way. Of course, neither side is very even since I cut it apart, but okay. that looks better. So I'm going to burnish really well, get all of that silk screen area and the edges stuck down. And I put a cart link in the description of the video. Um, and I think I used four paste singles. Um, but you could use a, co a combination of colors. The example that I had used black velvet, candy apple, and gold. Um, but you could also use black velvet. Uh, Couture teal and gold, or you could use silver instead of gold with any of the 
uh, color combinations. So I think I think we may ditch the gold, even though I put that in the cart link. And I think we'll just use candy apple, silver, and black. The example used gold mainly because their the tacks that they used were kind of an antique brass gold, but mine are black, so I'm just going to use silver. I'm not much of a gold fan, or I'm more of a silver fan, I guess I should say. So let's start with our our bold word, which is backyard. So I'm just dipping my um, squeegee into the chalk paste. Mine is a little thick. I'm just, I have not having some issues with my chalk paste. Mainly it's probably because I don't use it enough. But it gets a little thick on me. If it does, just add a little bit of distilled water. So I'm going to pull off any of that excess. So I can put it back in my jar and I'm also going to even out some of my squeegee lines make sure all my letters are covered from tip to toe I'm actually going to pull up my transfer just so that I can separate the paste from the silk screen we're going to dry that i just don't want my paste because it is a little thick it's going to dry much quicker than normal and i don't want my paste to dry in my silk screen because then when i go to pull up the transfer it will pull up all of that paste How was everyone's weekend? Did everyone have a good weekend? So I'm just going to burnish the rest of the transfer. There's another hair right there. I don't worry about them unless they're in the silk screen area. Okay, I'm gonna, um, Jason said he had a great weekend. We went and spent the day with my mom and dad. Um, so yeah, it was fun. Worked at Junk in the Trunk on Saturday and then went and put up my booth display at Flipping Fabulous. So it was a busy Saturday and then a busy yesterday. Uh, okay, so now let's do Welcome to Our and then Bar and Grill. I'll do those in black. I'm going to use my newer black. This can't get much out of there. So I don't know if you've heard me mention there is a spring fling sale going on right now. Tomorrow is the last day. So there are some things in the specials category that are 30 to 70% off through tomorrow. So if you're wanting to get any of those specials, you need to act fast because that ends tomorrow. Oops. I got a little close to the edge. I'm just trying to get pull my excess back in without going over the edge. And then we can do, well, let's separate that first. Okay. 
So there's a welcome to our. Amanda said she had a pretty laid back weekend. down here and we'll do the word bar so the um the new mezzanine area at flipping fabulous opens opens wednesday and that's where my booth will be there up in the there's a staircase that leads to the mezzanine level and that's where they have additional vendors set up make sure you go check that out some of the cute little notebooks that i've made over the last couple of weeks are there i've got some door rounds there that um my doorbell is the the doorbell is broken please yell ding dong really loud is there and so then for the little stars and the word and I'm just going to do it in silver it may not show up very well but and then I'm going to take a few of my spiral notebooks that I've upcycled the covers I hope to get those done and then I'm working on some junior legal pad folios to take there. Okay, so I think we are done pasting. over there let's dry this off yeah you can't see the silver very well that might be why they picked gold i probably should have done storm i can always go back and fix it says she likes it thank you let's real quickly I want to show you I don't do this as often as I used to but let's show you how quick and easy it is to clean these up I always tell chalk couture is easy to use easy to clean so with those kind of creative act, creative activities are more your speed than these are definitely the products for you. So you just basically need a water source. So I just have a tub of water here. Don't mind the grossness of the tub, but it gets used a lot. So you just need either a tub, a sink, a shower, a bathtub, um, a spray bottle of water. But you definitely need a board eraser, which is what these are. They're great not only for your boards, but for your transfers. And I always say put in a package of board erasers with every order because you don't ever want to run out and they do go out of stock from time to time so I'm just wiping the paste off of the front side and you can see there's still some red and black paste um, stuck in that transfer so you want to flip it over and if you run your board eraser over the back side that'll help release a lot of the remainder of that paste you can see where I have and have not done that. So I'm just going to turn it around. And I'm going to wipe this back side off. And fling water everywhere. And 
so then I have a sticky side down and don't be alarmed with some of these newer manufactured transfers it will feel like the sticky is completely gone but it's not as it dries the sticky comes back I'm just going to take a Clorox wipe to the back side or Lysol wipe whatever you have and that will take off a lot of that lint that we put on with our fuzz cloth and I think it actually wicks away some of the water and it helps absorb some of that and it can get rid of any little paste residue that you may have missed so then just keep these air dry these sticky side up for about 15 or 20 minutes and then you can put them right back on the backer sheet and store them away easy peasy super quick okay so now I'm going to get a paper towel. We're going to sand the edges a little bit. Just to make it look a little, a little weathered. my little finger sander about worn my sandpaper out I need to replace it let's just do that now so I need to get a new one so hard get those edges the corners bring in one of our scrap pieces um, definitely want that to be the back side these are slightly warped they're very weathered um, so I also have these tacks I think we're gonna glue it but I also want to use some of these decorative tacks if they'll work so i probably need to pre-drill some holes and then i'm going to put that there as well so it'll be a cute little bottle opener so just trying to decide i think i'm gonna glue it and then pre-drill does that I just don't think I can uh, line it up once I, if I pre-drill and then glue. Okay, so let's, I've got some wood glue um, for permanency and I've got a little bit of hot glue for a temporary bond. I also have a gookie. This nose didn't get wiped very well when we used it last. He had some boogies. Okay. So 
So let's, this is my favorite wood glue, this tight bond. And this one is water resistant and it's interior, exterior. So it'll be great for outside. I also use um, Gorilla glue sticks, which are supposed to be a little bit more weather resistant than most glue sticks. Um, I'm going to put my hot glue mainly in the middle just to kind of give me a little bit of um, so it'll kind of help fill in. I almost put it in on backwards. So it'll kind of help me um, fill in the middle where it might be bowed a little bit. I'm going to stand up so I can kind of eyeball this a little bit. And then bring my, it's not going anywhere. So let's bring in our drill and our drill bits. I don't need, I need a tiny itsy bitsy one. Let's see if this works. Oops. There we go. Oh, nope. That one doesn't want to fit. It doesn't fit. was being a ding dong okay i'm gonna get i have some glue seepage down here that i want to get before it gets too far gone okay now let's just eyeball this and see where i'm gonna want my taps ish I think I'm going to put a little dollop of glue just to kind of help stick that down. Yeah, those don't even, they're not very functional. Now let's see if I can get them somewhat even. This may not even be even at all. We'll just do our best. right there. Put a little dollop of glue on the decorative tag to keep it in. one and then we'll put on our bottle opener. Hopefully I don't spew glue everywhere. Here. So 
there's that. And then mark kind of where I want. And I'm totally just eyeballing everything. Jason, Jason is the measurer in the family. I'm not. Okay, so this one is a Phillips. I just kind of wing it. I probably should have moved my glass mat out of the, oops, out of the way. So I'm just changing to a Phillips head. Let's put in these screws. And before I regret this, um, I'm going to move my glass mat out of the way. Put it over here. I'm going to be sad if I broke it in the process. Here's my other screw. Sorry if I'm sorry if it's kind of loud. Sorry for any of you guys that might have earbuds in. Okay. Just like that. 30 minutes. If I'd have made this two days ago, I'd have had the perfect Father's Day gift. <laughs> but I did not make it two days ago. I had every intention to make it couple days ago, but I just did not. Okay, oh, easy peasy. Uh, so that is our cute little project. Let me flip it over this way. So you can kind of set it somewhere. I'd probably hang it maybe the, from the siding of your house. Um, but super cute. The bottle opener, I believe, is functional. Yeah, I think I'll go back in with um, Storm because you can't see the silver very well. I kind of know why they picked um, gold, but I think it's pretty. It is stuck down so that wood glue will continue to dry. Amanda says super cute. Okay, let's go over. I did mention um, that the spring fling, if I can find that graphic, um, sale ends tomorrow. So that's 30 to 70% off select items, bundles, and kits. So there were four chalk boxes, which are on the left side of the screen, and there are four bundles, which are on the right side of the screen. There's also transfers, all sorts of things that are anywhere from 30 to 70% off. So go check that out. It's at um, chocotour.com backslash Robin's Egg Blue Creations. And if you go to the specials, um, or it might also be kits. Look in the kits for some of the bundles and kits, but look in specials for the single items that are on sale. Um, also, just want to remind you that this is this month's Club Couture transfer. So this is Club Couture is a DIY monthly subscription kit that comes directly to your mailbox. The only way to get this exclusive um, transfer is to either be a designer or a club member. So this month's transfer is summertime and the living is easy. And the three paste singles that you get are Guava, Shimmer Harvest, and Tide. Um, there is a three-month minimum commitment to sign up, but you can you can cancel at any time after that. Um, I forgot to check on the color of the month to see if it's still available. When I ordered on Friday, it was still available. Um, but it is a deep midnight blue. So with 4th of July coming up, I have a feeling it will sell out quickly. Um, but it is midnight. You can unlock the ability to order midnight with a $75 order. 
um, and you can order up to three. It's available in June only or as supplies last. Um, the next one is the Creative Kickstart. Oh, wait, let me show you this one first. So all customers are eligible to earn this free gift with a $75 purchase. So you get the cute little tote bag and it's fairly large from what I heard. I hope to get mine by the end of the week. <coughs> but you get one B-size transfer. You might as well shine. Um, you get the cotton tote bag and you get two ink singles in black velvet and shimmer gold. So again, that's free with a $75 order. If you are are a club member and you spend $75, you get the totally um, creative kickstart bundle, plus you get an additional B-size transfer. So not only do you get the um, rise and shine transfer, but you get one that's called straighten, that says straighten your crown and handle it. So you get a free B-size transfer with that totally creative kickstart bundle. Um, the Try Me Kit for the month is Make Your Own Waves. Every month, Chop Couture curates a Try Me Kit at 20% off retail price. So this one includes the Make Your Own Waves uh, size A transfer. It includes the white 5 by 7 board and base, and it includes a paste single in Couture Teal and one in Tide and a mini squeegee. And I don't have the right slide for this, but... Uh, the designer kit, if you are like me and your wish list was way bigger than your wallet, or if you just want the 40% discount, <coughs> then um, if you sign up in June, the designer kit is only $59. But you don't have to buy a kit to be a designer. You can sign up for the designer access pass for $9 mm -hmm. and for $9.99. And it doesn't include a kit, but you get you do get the um 40% off discount. But if you want the kit, then this month it is $59 and it retails for between $250 and $300. So let's let me go back to my comments. Um, oops, let's show you this again. So this was again our project. I'm going to make another one. I think I'm going to make another one and do backyard in the couture teal color. I think that would be really pretty. You could also do it in storm and then I would do these accents in, excuse me, storm as well. Or um, you could do shimmer shadow, the black, um, the black shimmer paste. Um, so yeah, so I'll have two of these available. I don't know where they'll be. Probably one down at Flipping Fabulous, and the other one will probably go to either Raised Rustic in Ellsworth or to my booth at Junk in the Trunk in the Mall. So these two will be available. I also added a bunch of stuff to my Etsy shop this week, and a bunch of uh, some more rounds. Um, and if you are local to Salina, each description has a coupon code in it that takes off the shipping price. Um, if you want to do local pickup, so it would reduce the cost of your, it just takes the shipping out of the price. So keep that in mind if you wanted to order something um, from my Etsy store. Um, my process time is about 10 to 14 days, depending on what you order. Um, but just go check that out, share that out, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, I should be, I should be live again Wednesday. Um so make sure you check out my Facebook page on Wednesday morning for the already scheduled um, check-in post. So make sure you do that. If you participate in those check-in questions or games, then you are um, automatically entered into that night's Happy Mail gift away that we do at the end of the live video. No purchase necessary. You don't even need to be present to win. Um, so make sure you play along with us. They're kind of fun, I think. So tonight I had, today I had five viewers, and I'm doing it this way because if I don't, if I do it and through my computer, it really bogs my computer down. So we'll just do it this way. So I had five participants this morning. Um, so there they are. So I'm going to hit start. Hmm. 
I'm going to make wait till it goes on your end. So it looks like Diane Thompson is the winner. So I will reach out to Diane and get her mailing information. Congratulations, Diane. Um, with that, I'm going to sign off for um, the evening. I will see you again Wednesday. Thanks so much for your support, and I hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching.